Hey, what's up? It's Wesley. Hey, how's it going there today? I uh, just getting here into Sebastian, Florida. That's a pretty exciting town, huh? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, we just got here, so kind of we we just kind of come in and you know we don't really get to see any of the sights or anything most of the time. Sounds about right. So your new album is the first in ten years. Around how many songs had you written for the album? Um, there was at least like you know probably another good. 40, 50 songs that weren't, you know, put on the, this record. And did you start it with the same producer as you ended up with? In in general, yeah. Yeah, it was it was the same producer, Cameron Webb. And, you know, where did the album title come from? Part of my ignorance, is is that a, a reference to an area that you grew up around? No, uh, it's, a, uh, it's a skin response that my dad measures the music by that I've been kind of writing and stuff, you know, since I've been a kid. He, uh, he measures it off the galvanic skin response. So I just made up a word, really. <laughs> That's great. And what did he think of that title being a reference to him? Uh, you know, I hope he's patting himself on the back. You know, he's, he's been a great dad. He's been really supportive all these years. And, um, you know, he always let me do what I was, I, was, uh, I was passionate about, you know. Now, did the band who played on the record, is that the same band who's touring with you now? Yeah. Who is in the band at the moment? Um, well, I'm playing with, um, I'm playing with David uh, Moreno and, on the drums and, uh, vocals and, uh, Matt Fuller on the guitar and vocals and then, um, Michael Adams on the bass and vocals. And how long had you known these guys in the band? Um, well, I've been touring around for about, you know, probably the last, I've known, I've known Dave uh, Moreno for probably 20 years. Um, he's kind of been in and out sort of, you know, kind of been on the cusp the whole time just uh some sometimes uh record execs didn't really like you know feel his vibe i guess you know so um kind of nature of the beast you know um but i've known everybody for you know i've known dave for 20 and i've known matt and uh, and uh and um michael for like you know five seven years you know somewhere in there uh do you know any of your bandmates from your days in missouri uh yeah, I just got along with uh, Jimmy Allen, man, who I uh, wrote the uh, wrote the uh, stuck record with. He's uh, chilling in Kansas City still, and uh, you know he's he's doing just fine, man. Well, I had the pleasure of going to Kansas City for the first time about a month ago. Do you spend much time there these days? I don't really spend a lot of time much anywhere, you know, um, except for on tour and in studios. Got it. Got it. So is your home base Los Angeles these days? Um, not, you know, I wouldn't call it home base, but I have a place there. My dog's there. Yeah, I suppose wherever your dog is, is where your home base is. So yeah, what? So you mentioned Bur- before Burbank, <laughs> Burbank California. Uh, so you mentioned yeah. before having, you know, dozens of songs that you didn't uh, use for this album because they've been written. Does that mean that the next album might come out within the next year or two? Yeah, the next record won't take as long um, as this record. There was just a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of hurdles. You know, a lot of weird stuff happened, man. You know, like my house got stolen by some house thieves and all my guitars got stolen, all my stuff got stolen. You know, it was like a hell hath no fury type situation, you know. I guess, um, you know, I should have never gotten married ever, ever, ever. (laughs) And I never will again, ever again. I'm never, ever going to do that again. Well, I suppose... Uh, that you could look at all that with a different perspective and say, well, I'm no longer attached to things because I'm a person who's always on the road. So I don't need things. It's just me and I go everywhere. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, I mean, I should have listened to my own rule. I broke my own rule, man. So, you know, I should, I have no real business being married to anybody. I really almost don't even have any business being um, or having a significant other. It, this band has ruined every relationship I've ever been in in my life. So, you know, but you know, I I, I love to be I love to love somebody. You know, I'm not, I'm still human. You know, it's nice to have somebody. And uh, right now, I got a really really great gal, and um, she's really supportive and stuff and uh, understanding. So, I'm not gonna get married or nothing, but you know, she's she's totally cool. And you mentioned all earlier also that, you know, you're always on the road when you're on the road, 
of course you don't go around and see the Empire State Building and that kind of stuff. But when you get to a city, do you say, hey, I'm going to check out the artisanal coffee shop? Or do you just sit in your hotel usually? Um, no, I like um, – we try to rest our voices as much as possible. Um, it's like – you know, last night we played the show at like, you know, we got on stage at like 9.45 and got off the stage at like 11.30 and we didn't get back to our hotel rooms until about 1 and and we had uh, to get up, this, I had to get up this morning at like 5.30. Um, we, had a, we had to do a uh, two-hour like acoustic question and answer for 98 Rock in uh, Tampa Bay at the uh, iHeart Media uh, station. So... You know, and then we had to, so we had to do that all day long and do meet and greets and stuff like that in the morning at like uh, seven thirty in the morning. So I had to go down and like get myself, keep myself warmed, you know, you know, kind of like body warmth and vocally warmth, you know. We did our vocal training, vocal lessons, and stuff in the car on the way to on the way to the, uh, the uh, early morning uh, show, you know. So. We're uh, we're having a busy day today, man. Yeah, it's actually been a real couple really busy, busy, busy freaking months. Of course, that's going to happen when you have a new album to promote and all that. So looking at yeah. how things are now, you sound like you're in a much better place than you were 10 years ago before the album. Is this what you want to do the rest of your life? Do you want to just make albums and tour? Or is there a goal to ultimately be a producer or write for other artists or anything like that? Yeah, I mean, you know, in a, in a sense, I am kind of a producer already, you know, in a sense. I, I do some of the, you know, I, I do produce, you know, I produce songs, you know. But the idea of being on the road, you know, 100, 200 days a year, is that appealing to you in the long term? Oh, I've been doing it for 20 years now. So, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's the life I chose, you know. What about writing for other artists? Is that something that you want to do? That's a really tricky one for me. Um, you know, I don't know if I like want to give away my number one hit songs. <laughs> so, in closing, Wes, any last words for the kids? I just want to say thank you to all the fans, all the kids, everybody out there, man. You know, take care of each other, and uh, you know, we really hope that you guys, uh, you know, uh, you know, get some inspiration from this record. And we're really glad. You know, I'm super, super so stoked that. Uh, that the record's totally out and you know thanks for all the support and love and uh we'll see you soon uh you know you know in a freaking venue we're playing some rock and roll music man